Let's learn about the slope of a line. For example, let's find the slope of the line passing through these two points here. The slope of a line measures its steepness and can be computed by the following formula. That the slope m is the difference in the y-coordinates of the two points, which we call the rise, divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, which we call the run. So let's let x1, y1 be our first point over here, this negative 4, negative 3. And x2, y2 be the second point, namely 8, negative 9. So by this formula, we have m, the slope, is equal to y2, which is negative 9 here, minus y1, so minus and minus 3, be careful, divided by x2, which is 8, minus x1, which is negative 4, which is equal to negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6, divided by 8 minus and minus 4 is 12 which means that we just found that this rise over run down here is equal to negative 6 over 12. So we can think of negative 6 as the rise and 12 as the run. And let's look at what this means. The run is positive 12, which means from that point, negative 4, negative 3, we're going to go to the right 12. And then the rise is negative 6, so we go down 6 to get to that other point. Let's see what happens if we compute m the other way. In other words, let's let this point, 8, negative 9, be x1, y1 instead. So if we let x1, y1 equal 8, negative 9, and x2, y2, be equal to the other point, negative 4, negative 3. Then by this formula, we get m is equal to y2, which is negative 3, minus y1, so minus a minus 9, divided by x2, which is negative 4, minus x1, which is 8, which is equal to 6 divided by negative 12. So now we can think of our run as being negative 12 and our rise as being 6. That is, from our first point, 8, negative 9, our run is negative 12, so we go to the left 12. And our rise is positive 6, so we go up 6 units to get to the other point. So it doesn't matter which way we label our points. In either case, we get that our slope is equal to negative 6 over 12, which is negative 1 half. Let's look at another example. Let's find the slope of this line that's graphed here. All right, so this is the point negative 1, negative 2, and this is the point 2, 3. Again, we're going to apply our slope formula here that the slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's let this point be x1, y1, and this point be x2, y2. By our formula here, m is equal to y2, which is 3, minus y1, which is negative 2, divided by x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is negative 1, or 5 divided by 3. So we can think of our run as being positive 3 and our rise as being 5. Which means starting at our first point, we go to the right three units and then up 
five units to get to our second point. Now we could have done it the other way, right? We could have let this point here be our x1, y1, and this point here be our x2, y2. So by our formula then, the slope would be equal to y2, which is negative 2, minus y1, which is 3, divided by x2, which is negative 1, minus x1, which is 2, or negative 5 divided by negative 3. So the run is negative 3, rise is negative 5. That is, from our first point, we go to the left, three units, and then down five units to get to our second point. But in either case, we get that the slope is equal to five-thirds. And this is how you compute the slope of a line. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.